Hey, morning, everyone. Dave Cook, DeFranco Painting and Wallpaper. So one thing I wanted to show real quick, because we've had this question come up, is orange peel. And as you can see on the picture, and as you've seen oranges, all those little textures and dimples, uh, that in the painting is what we call orange peel as well, when it shows up on painting. So that can happen in different ways. Uh, the sprayers are not set up right. Um, wrong air pressure, too much pressure. Um, hasn't been diluted enough. The spray tips are wrong. Um, there's probably about five different things I can think off the top of my head of why that happens. Because we want to make sure that you can see that sheen. That is what we were looking for when a painted cabinet comes along. Not that. So when this happens, and it happens because sometimes we uh, add a different cup of, cup of paint to the gun. Um, sometimes air pressure changes. They get knob, the knobs or adjustments get hit on the way. And you result in a little bit of this on top of this. So then after it dries, you're sanding this down to get nice and smooth again. So when you're looking at cabinet finishes, looking at finishes for your home, you want to make sure orange peel, that, that this is what orange peel is. Uh, we want to avoid that when we're painting our cabinets and then getting rid of it. It's pretty easy. We're just sanding it down. Use like a 320 sandpaper. We have a Festool sandpaper. We sand it down, get nice and smooth, repaint it again, and it's good to go. But just another tip on cabinet cabinet painting and refinishing. If you have questions about other painting and cabinet needs, give us a call. I'd love to hear how, how we can help you love the space you're in.